The center does, runs a postgraduate program in climate change. We have about 200 students from across the Pacific enrolled in that program right now. That's postgraduate diploma, masters, and PhDs in climate change. In addition, we run community development projects. We've learned from the communities. So sitting in the communities and listening to the communities describe their problems, what are the challenges they're facing, has taught us to listen better so that and to develop a more participatory approach to the way our decisions are made so that every member of PACE feels like they are a leader in whatever they're doing. But every member of PACE is required to listen to everyone else, as if they were in a Talanoa dialogue, and that everyone comes to that respected and as equals. And I think that culture and that environment that we have here at PACE is foundational to all of our innovation and to the ownership that gets established to the projects later. The challenge is that there's always more to do than we can possibly do in a three to five year project. So the challenge is really maintaining long-term relationships with those communities. The fundamental values of participatory, listening, and respect help solve Every, most of the challenges that come up. They can't solve everything. They can't make sure that the financial management system is robust. They can't make sure that corruption doesn't happen. But corruption is much less likely if you and I are working together towards a solution. And I'm respecting you every step of the way. And you feel like you have the space to voice any concerns. My advice would be, don't assume you know what the answer is. Because the strongest solutions are those that are developed together.